Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira X-ray tutorial, we are going to learn the next topic in the course, which is how to create the test plan in X-ray and what is the relevance of test plan and how you organize your test cases accordingly in other Scrum and progress your work further. So if we go and discuss about the test plan here, so you will get the documentation of the test plan and everything here in the X-ray. But anyways, I'm covering that. So you might only need to go through the documentation if you need the advanced topics or something you are not able to pick up from this tutorial but I'm trying to cover most of it anyways okay so let's go to the project and go to the project that we were working on now what exactly is the test plan so if we talk about the traditional test plan the concept is basically to articulate in the plan what exactly is the scope of testing right very high level what is the scope of testing what are we going to test what is in scope out of scope what are the timelines when we are going to test who is going to test the test data requirements and all of those things that need to be placed up front or thought up front before we can go ahead and jump into the testing right so brief planning as such needs to be done now in traditional approaches the plan was a lengthy sort of document but in agile approaches we do not have that much of flexibility to keep creating those plans in each and every sprint there are plans already for the release so there will be a plan that will be done for two to three months release say for example a quarterly release that will be a high level plan but then every sprint we have to plan our activity or testing activity as well so how do we manage that planning for the sprint so x-ray provides that test plan feature to organize our testing activity for a particular sprint as well as the whole release as well so we can track what we are doing in the sprints in two to four week cycle and for the overall release at all uh, as well okay so if we talk about the test plan so in order to create a test plan it's absolutely simple it's an another issue type that you have to make sure that you are selecting when creating an issue so if you go to the plus sign here which is create issue and you simply have to select the test plan from the drop down this test plan issue type come from uh, comes from the x-ray plugin so in order to create this plan we simply say we are creating a plan say for example for a sprint right now you if you are following sprint or uh, sprint by sprint plan you can create a plan for each sprint because in a sprint you will be having a particular set of stories for which you will write the test cases then you will execute the test cases right so how you are going to organize that whole testing so for a sprint you create a plan okay and then you add the test cases that you have written for all of the stories that are there within the sprint you pull those test cases into your plan and then you associate the test executions to the plan now we'll talk about test executions in a moment but let's quickly go ahead and create a plan so we'll say say for example this is sprint one okay so i'll say sprint one test plan okay something like that in a summary and i'll copy some same thing in the description there okay now one important thing here is to make sure that you are selecting the version or release okay so at the moment that release option is not shown here because that field is not displayed okay maybe that's not configured as of yet but when we'll edit we should be uh yeah fixed version yeah so this, this is there right so release is basically the fixed version so if the versions are defined now whenever you do the testing within the sprints okay you are not doing the testing just for the sake of it you will be basically releasing the software to production right now whatever testing you are doing for the stories they'll be associated to some release version so you select the release version from the drop down in your actual projects whichever version you are testing these all stories for that way what will happen is say for example your release is planned after two months okay now within those two months there will be four to five sprints altogether. now all of the work that you are doing in a plan test plan so for example sprint one plan you will be adding all of the test cases you will be doing all of the execution and then you will be also associating that plan with the further final release that that will be happening after two months okay so each of the sprint plan will be then associated with the higher level release and when you'll go and see, search all the release items or the work that has been done the testing everything will be there displayed properly okay in the reports so that's why selecting this fixed version for which you are testing this particular these stories or the plan for is important okay so as of now there is no release defined here so i'm just creating the plan as is and once the plan has been created you will see it's just an another issue type if we'll simply go ahead and open this issue type it will be of a type test plan 
and then the test plan will have certain different attributes there okay now what we need to do in the test plan so briefly in the description the best practice is just briefly define what is in scope okay what is out of scope the timeline and the testers or who is doing which particular functionality so in the description usually just have that a uh, couple of you know points there in scope and then out of scope so for so what this will clarify is that yes these these are the type of test, testing that we are doing in scope that are uh, there in scope what is not in scope that you provide in the out of scope just maybe a bulleted points right and then uh, the timeline right so timeline basically when a person is doing what or the responsibilities who is doing which particular feature in terms of people there right so you save that so this information will then get saved for a particular plan and tomorrow if you have to come back and refer then you can see what was out of scope in this particular sprint what was in scope accordingly okay now this plan has been created now plan will have the test cases that we want to execute okay so traditional plan is different this is wherein we are just planning for the sprint and we need to add the test cases within this particular plan now in order to add the test cases in the plan you simply click on this add tests okay so it's similar interface so in the test section you will see that you have the add tests simply select the existing test if you want to add the existing tests or tests from the test sets okay if say for example you have created a test set for a particular sprint okay now you can go ahead and click on this test set and simply select that test set that you have created for a sprint one and simply add selected okay so this is the benefit of creating a test set for each of the sprint because then you can quickly go ahead and fetch all of the test cases from that sprint in your plan automatically okay if you haven't created a test set like that you can create just simply select existing test cases okay so when you have created a plan the you would have already written the test cases right so now you simply go ahead and select whatever test cases you want to add as part of this plan so there were three test cases i have simply selected those i can also search or provide a jql query to select the test cases that i want to include in this particular test plan i'll simply go ahead and add these selected test cases in my test plan of the sprint one okay and now you will see that i'll get this particular status here right overall execution status okay now this plan has some of the details the description so say for example we are starting sprint one okay and i am managing the work of the sprint one so i'll quickly go ahead and create a plan of the sprint one whatever my team members have written the test cases for i'll go ahead and add those test cases into the plan okay and then i'll start the execution i'll ask the team members to basically go ahead and start the execution so if i'm the lead or manager i need to manage all of these things myself so how will i make sure that these test cases are being assigned properly to the relevant person uh, in order to execute and then they are tracked properly in the execution now at the moment you will see that there is no execution created as such okay so what we need to do if we have created a plan there needs to be the execution cycles as well so sprint one there might be one cycle for executing all of the test cases of sprint one then there will be defects that will be raised and those defects need to be retested so that will require another cycle to be created the test execution cycle or test runs right that's what this test execution is all about right so here we'll say that okay let's create a execution cycle the first cycle first execution or test run for this particular test plan so we'll say simply select all tests okay which will create a test execution okay for the test plan that we have written right so this is the summary you can update that as well so we'll say test execution for the test plan right so whatever test plan that we have created okay so the number will be taken and you can update it, it as well so we'll say sprint sprint one just to make it more clear okay and then this is the summary of that execution that will get created and then zoom in and create okay so the execution will get then created okay with this execution now all the execution that will happen will get tracked as part of this execution in the plan okay so you understand the hierarchy the plan test plan will have first cycle or test run wherein all the execution will happen okay 
and then so you'll see this execution got created let's go back to the plan which is we go back and now as a lead i need to assign the test cases so test execution has been created right and if you go to the test executions you will see now three test tests are already added here okay so any execution that will be done now as part of this execution will be tracked in this execution and a plan can have multiple test executions because these three say for example test cases are executed in sprint one two of them failed you need to re-execute two of the other test cases right so or there are some gaps you added more test cases you will create another execution cycle and your team needs to execute it right so that is where you need to have multiple executions okay so now how a lead or manager will plan these executions so a lead or manager needs to assign these test cases to the team members right so in order to assign the execution right so assignee here is the assignee of the test cases okay so you see this assignee it is not the assigning of the execution responsibility to the testing team if you want to assign the execution responsibility you need to go to the test executions okay and in the test execution you will see that we have to go to the test execution we have to open the test execution and within the test execution that we have created we need to allocate the execution responsibility to the team members okay so we have opened the test execution which is the sprint one test execution so for example if there is another test execution of the failed test cases you will create another test execution similar to this one and assign the test cases accordingly so here you will see these are the test cases in the test execution right now if i want to assign these to different team members right so if you just scroll in the right hand side you will see in the actions here in the ellipsis here you simply click on the ellipsis and you can assign it to the relevant testers within your team so if i click on assign you will see assigning the test run and then from here you can select the person who needs to execute these test cases right so at the moment i just have one user i haven't added more users but in your cases you will have your team there and they will be able to uh, or your lead will be able to select relevant members of the team and assign say for example they selected this person rcv jira okay and then assign this execution this run the test run to the person okay who is going to execute right we can select the column as well here and you'll see the test run assignee okay so test run assignee if you select and simply say done you will see who has been assigned the execution of these test cases okay so at the moment by default it's only one user so you'll see only rcv jira there but if i go ahead and change this to unassigned okay or some other user you will see that the test run assignee will be updated accordingly okay so this is basically how the lead or manager will go ahead in the execution and plan the execution for a particular sprint or a release now here i have taken an example of the sprint because this is kind of a usual practice in the uh, agile testing in scrum okay so the execution cycles or the test runs are the are created test runs are assigned to the team members and then execution happens if there is failure another test run will be created and associated to the plan so this way you will be able to manage all of your testing activities within jira x-ray using x uh, using test plan and the test execution properly and interlinking them properly so the traceability will be maintained and your reports will be absolutely perfect okay so this is one of the uh, thing about the test plan now if you go back okay let's see how you are going to do further actions within the test plan so here you can see that we have some of the test cases there right now you can also have the execution on different test environments if you have defined the test environment so for example test execution on sit environment or on the uat environment you can also manage that from this drop down here when the test environments are defined okay uh, updating the column what columns you want to see here you can update these columns from here okay and the other important thing is viewing this over all plan on the board if you simply click on view on board it will open a board okay and it will show you overall execution status and the plan details at a board level hierarchical okay so let's see how the, the board will show so you'll see this is the test plan board okay and you'll see sprint one test plan right and you'll see this is a board wherein all the test cases that are included here are basically listed here in the list right and 
you can see different options around the test environment, uh, switching to the flat view, etc. are all available here. Okay, so this is basically board view. I'll touch base more on the board view in the upcoming tutorial. So that's all about the test plan in Jira X-Ray. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.